Mahama, 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 Guys, the team will do all. So give me four more. We could do more. Please be what they pour me. Four more for what? Master, answer the guy. Four more for what? Four more to do more for you. Four more to store more excavators and our money. Bisabio. Or four more to kill Ghanaian businesses. No. no. Four more for family and friends. Four more for neglected projects. Four more for soccer and broken promises. Open up and now four more to borrow more with nothing to show. No way. Hello? Four more for lawlessness, intolerance, and harassment of the media and the political opponent. I beg you. You make a cry self. What happened to the murders of Ahmed Swali? What about the members of the Delta Force where they attacked the court for Kumasi? Where them also brutalized innocent citizens for hours where's Wogon? Even you the one that four more. Four more for more corruption scandals like the PDS, Australian Visa Fraud Scandal, Canafsay Fraud Scandal, then PPE, don't call me contract for sale by the incompetent clearing agents. Four more? No! no. Away! 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 Vote John Mahama and NDC for jobs and prosperity for all. Good day, Your Excellency. I'm a concerned citizen of Ghana, and I have a question for you. My question is, I've heard you say on many platforms that you will lead Ghana with a legacy. My concern is, can you deliver, or yours is just another beautiful dream, like we are seeing from the current government? Thank you. No, I'm definitely not a daydreamer. I'm a builder with a vision for Ghana, and I have the best possible team to help me deliver my mission, the NDC. The available data is incontrovertible. From 2009 to 2016, 
Ghana witnessed its greatest economic and social boom in its entire history. During those eight years, the NDC deeply transformed Ghana and changed Ghanaian lives for the better. But there was a lot more we could have done. We moved upward from a low-income country to a lower-middle-income country. And even if we had two difficult years, the GDP grew from $28.5 billion in 2008 to $55 billion in 2016. We almost doubled Ghana's GDP in just eight years. In 2008, only 60% of Ghanaians had access to electricity. In 2016, we reached almost 80% access, and so on. You don't have to take my word on this. The data is there for everyone to see. So yes, I can deliver, and the NDC can deliver, because we've done it before. We did it before, and we can surely do it again. Aha! Uh -huh. You know the jobs we create? Over two million jobs. It'll not be easy. Yeah! Lies! You create all these jobs over there, we still don't suffer. No. Ah! Massa! You know here of Napco? You power, what do they try to talk? You they say permanent job, you say Napco. Aha! Uh -huh. You see? Napco be temporal. You guys know things wrong proper. The beneficiaries go lose them a job, can't join the unemployed soon. Muff, muff, how that one go feel up himself? <laughs> Even your napko know John Mahama promised say he go fix him by making the beneficiaries permanent public sector workers. That be visionary. Yes! The visionary promises the big one. Ejumapa. And the Ejumapa, one million permanent jobs with decent wages could be created over the next four years. Mm. There'll be 250,000 jobs per year. Ejumapa, you do all. Thank you. That'll be too ambitious. How that one go feel up himself? Ah, thank you for the word so sweet. John Mahama projects he go stimulate the private sector. We go give them incentives so they go free employ child people. He said medium sized businesses no go pay corporate income tax for two years. Then my income tax also go reduce them from 25% to 15% so they go free expand. Small businesses self no go pay corporate income tax. Where it go reduce VAT by 5%. Hey, hey, hey. what the freak may be saying? Eh? Use startup business. No go pay tax for two years. Abu, if you can say it be easy, like it be easy, Anka, we will not do it. If no free do, carry down your chair and go. Make your mama come, they can't show you. Ah, ah, the policies he did, the Juma Panda, eh? Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. See, when I run materials like cocoa, cash you and gold, you go process some for the country inside. Hmm? Mm. This go help create jobs for our people. Where some go generate income, give the country. John Mahama, again. Go scrap import duty where they commercial vehicles, then vehicles for industrial and agriculture purposes stop. You go fit! Hey, set! Hey, but, my guy, what day inside give you where we want job for the government sector? Oh, master, that won't be bonus. See, whether you want go police or soldier or prison or GES or local government, or you don't get problem. You are you day inside. Oh, now, what you see? You don't get anything, top. Master, what day did you apply inside? For we where we don't get employable skills. Oh, no worries, bruh. The free TVET at the secondary and technical universities plus the National Apprenticeship Program will sort you out. Wow. Under the National Apprenticeship Program, you will get a chance to train in any craft of your choice for free. Where you go get some allowance as you train. Oh, what a wow! Oh, yes, not only that, or not only that. You will get free tokens to set up your own business once you play it. Hey, I win this again. Hey, Papa! You do it! Papa! You do it! Hey. Vote John Mahama and NDC for jobs and prosperity for all. Oh, 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 this should be in the past. Join John Dramani Mahama in the new Ghana where primary health care is free. Walk into any polyclinic, chip compound, health center, or health facility in your locality and have access to primary health care for free. Your health insurance should only come in when you're referred to a larger or a regional facility. This is possible, and John Dramani Mahama has promised to make it happen. So on 7th December, go to the polls and vote for primary health care to be free and accessible to all. Vote for John Dramani Mahama and the NDC. Vote number two. <laughs> Papa, last 
Central Mox, why be a Okay, Bibian, yammy, me penny say I check, but my yamma about one spenty. My bumper and a prayer doing your yes. Yeah, they did and my question will talk room with your baby, me, a jaramoto, Simimra, no one men in Doom Comway, and no grandpa, a Thomas, my Tom, my Kuma, Mama, my Kuma, my Yemi Boko, and Timmy and Museo, and the Papana, or Ba, a Swansea dear, won't refear that, a Swansea, won't refear that, Inshallah, seven December, or a number two, Inshallah. I think most often when we travel outside, we're able to say that America is different from Ghana simply because of the infrastructure we see. The good roads, the good hospitals, the good schools and all that. And so if an amount of 10 billion is going to be pushed into an, an infrastructure to elevate it to a point where we're going to have that solace, like those in America and all that, then I think it's a very good thing. So if we're going to get that, I know it's going to create jobs, it's going to open up the economy and all that. So it's a very great thing and I feel very excited about that. Sa kwan wi aye wo so yi koto ba bi spinters ase na e your rough road. Obi asu nim say rough road yet me ntina anche ye business. Bendy si ba ya nwa beka kwa yi kota. Menim na endi si ye kwa yi we. Ntwoye wye ya no. Manya kwa nya. A medi tebo a besi huwa me ye mo ba mani. When I was little, I wanted to know how things worked, why things happened the way they did. I was lucky to witness the Fourth Republic. Even though I didn't understand much at the time, I could remember the joy on my mother's face when she said, It's a new dawn, mommy. Come on, let's take you to bed. As we witnessed a new transition, I wondered why no woman was up there to take the front ranks. My mother always said, it's a man's world out there. You need to work hard. Two questions on my mind. Why don't I do it? Why not me? As things became clearer, I kept asking, how would it be to have one of us at the top? So, I worked harder and even extra hard, hoping that someday, when I'm ready to take the bold step, I'll be undeniable. Nothing good comes easy, they say. I may seem over ambitious, but it's good to scare yourself sometimes. My mother said, if all these great men can, I also can. It's a man's world, my child. They need to work hard. Like a fruitless toil for women. But in 2020, something happened. Breaking news. The NDC has selected a female running mate. There's light at the end of the tunnel, we say. This day is the beginning of everything good we've been working for. I'll tell my child and my child's children, just because she can, they also can. Change is here indeed. Making history is gratifying, but what really matters is not to be the first through the door. What matters is to hold that door open for those behind us. Come 7th December 2020, let's go to the polls and vote John Dramani Mahama and Professor Nana Jeno Pokwajima. 
Let's vote for inclusiveness. Let's vote number two for change. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Nation Builder. Don Mahama waya 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 A nation builder is one with vision, a planner and a master tactician. He is a man with a team that understands that the implementation of free senior higher education, for example, requires adequate infrastructure in order not to destabilize an already working quality educational system. This is a man with a team that negotiates deals in a holistic manner, like the Tema Port Expansion Project that concluded with the construction of the Temamoto Way Interchange for ease of transport of goods. Like the Tema Port Expansion Project that concluded with the construction of the Temamoto Way Interchange for ease of transport of goods. Builder, one who makes judicious use of resources at his disposal. There are several infrastructure projects in various sectors of the economy accounted for under John Muhammad's four years of governance This nation builder is trustworthy, one who is faithful to his promise. John Mahama promised to end Dumso, and truly, he did, leaving the nation with excess megawatts of power at the end of his first term in office. This nation builder is a unifier. John Mahama's leadership transcends ethnicity, family, and friends, one whose message resonates with the upper class right through to the grassroots of our society. Same can be said about his communication prowess. It's unrivaled. This year's elections will be about track record. Second is trust. The writings are clear on the wall. The records never lie. Fellow Ghanaians, the choice is ours to make. Fellow Ghanaians, Presenting John Dramani Mahama. Oh, I'm an Indian Empire, as I say. Min pono mba e esume ye jide wo ni muda da ana min pono visi ni e kosu ni de wo mani muno insisanye JMA kasa o mani muno insisanye ni de de e kosu no obi ayi ready se obeba na san injuma insisamu ni de hiya e pa vise mi se ye kita application ye de chima ende injuma ni wanti na kwe ye se o ni mo bimpo e influ e juma ene ende ye ina e di e wa share security mu e bimu ye ye injuma enka se injuma no. A Yajuma de Nanso, a Katrampon, a woman, Nina, and Jay, I'm so a ban of baby being Juma obligated job. And poor Edia Mayan, a young Ninja Santi, and you, a young Cassia, a year, I'd rather see a home, your group with your Bapa, and a battle Santa Cock or two about their man. Eat a mugrombe, any of your mamber, never a shindo or a catan, Yadori, Jerebe, a Magalifia, Magramete. Isku, kikabwa, atumagwa, otawa, au rana kwa, imangu ba free education ya uba, free education yamu la ha, ba magrete yimu, le ina free education ha, school yao, eka ba school homeliu, damu kubwa ya mkuu shuleni ha, ati ano beta nungu, eka ba free education ta, ma wait ni tem, imangu kadi miyofu yeva ha, abu na wageni mika ba. I don't believe it. I promise you that you are entrepreneurs. Why? In a way. Like all my apprentices. 
Now, me time, me me time, me see at the pamano. It's easy. And move on. So now, this current youth is baby. And and time pay. This kind of trade, no, I'm just missing. And it's a business of a boy or more in these times now. I think that the youth will go in to learn. Before the previous administration exited office, in on this particular campus, the Regional Maritime University, a vocational centre was built. It was to help students come up with um, their techniques when it comes to um, welding and all that. Because I quite remember the former president came to the school and then spoke about the fact that on the rig one time they needed welders to work there and then it was it was very alarming that they didn't really have professional welders in Ghana. So based on that fact, that facility um, was set up. But since the government left office, nothing much had come out of it. So I think with the job creation, giving students the opportunity to have free vocational education after school, they would be able to come up, come out and then set up some jobs for themselves. When a criminal or an armed robber breaks into your home, he does not hail a Yezu or Kukudu. At that point in time, that criminal or that armed robber is thinking about his stomach. So I believe that a visionary leader like this, that is bringing policies, that is actually going to give some livelihood to the youth, I think will go a long way to grant us some safety within the community. Kumasi, I am two of our mother, Mamma. I tell me, young Kuala, we did it. As you saw about or back, Kumasi, I see a drum of fair family, school room, hospital room, police station room, BBR room. They Man of God, we need you. John Mama, the man of God, the lucky man, come here, come back together. Vote for you, do direct, do sure, no mistake. The NDC's People's Manifesto, it be top one. See, it's a no, Bro, you know, see, me as a day, me now they do my houses one and two, they get money, they take settle my school fees. But right now, your mama say, Chemupe. Which means the NDC Bahama led government will pay 50% of school fees for all tertiary students in the universities, polytechnics, college of education, nursing training schools, and so on. Charlie, hey. John Mahama be visionary. Jempe go is pressure for parents and students in the matter of pound. The one way they freak me be the increase of the student loan to meet the needs of the students. And it will be paid on time. Ah. Hey, you know, see, after John Mahama increased the student loan mm -hmm. 2600 in 2016, mm -hmm. oh, Panano no car press since 2017. Ah. Oh, yeah. I be here, yes, see, John Mahama say he go cancel the guarantor requirement. So say students go access the loan without the need for a guarantor. Oh, as for that move there, my mama ah. was one. <laughs> what they finish maybe say, your mama say you go bring back the student loan plus scheme. Ah. Eh? This scheme go allow students to get admission to tertiary school. She apply for loan even before them go to school. Charlie, your mama do all. This trip, I go be free from hustling to pay my school fees. I go have time to study Buddha and top my class. <laughs> Any challenger? No <laughs> challenger. My guy, Shempe. Vote John Mahama and NDC for jobs and prosperity for all.
kids. I make my money from Okada riding. So consider Okada riders better and address us in your manifesto. That's what I have for you. And that's the only reason why I vote for Mahama. Nanado doesn't ride moto, but you, Mahama, I've been seeing you on motorbike. John Mahama, manifesto no the banner. Me media ye wo mo ye okada fo no me se or or je okada fo tum no o mo me juma ya me be bo pa na because of ejuma ni ho na boys boys no so o mo nya mo san ejuma o mo fan dide ye yina ye ejuma we okada ni ye de ejuma ye de nya kaka akra ye de ye de tu ye ho ebi wo yire ebi wo ma a o mo ko school ni ade isi a wudi moto wudi kokroma ezi bu ei na police a che Ade, you are to aba at my MPP since 2000. And I'm starting to say to aba at my MPP. Ade, I to aba at my still yaraso yere. I want to trim. Now say JM aba say all my kwame yere. I have to make a. And I have to make a. I have to make a. I have to make a. Because I have to make a. 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 Yeah, bless her 52,000. Up to now, who the motor coke run here too? I don't need a costa. My parker I'm meeting motor so. No police, no watching me. I don't know if I'm a chow. Mukwa me isha mudada. Where you na mu mahama? Aba. Where you na suweka? Where you na suweka? Eti bi jama o kada fo you na. Yeah you na. Yaba tu aba ma. JM. JM ma na yeden. Eko. Ano ano eko. I think what our former president is about to do. Uh, about the legalization of the Okada is a, a good thing. Some of us, uh, we have just finished our SHS and we don't have the money to continue our education level. So we use this as a means to earn our daily bread. The legalization of this bike, it will help us also because we will only earn some little amount from this. Sometimes maybe 50 Ghana a day or maybe 100 cents a day. But because of it's not being legalized, you can end up meeting a policeman who will stop you all of a sudden and uh, instead of arrested you because you are now being licensed to use it. And the policeman might take you 100 cities, 200 cities, at the end of the day you have nothing to gain. So if this, uh, this bike is being legalized and at least we have the free road to work and live our normal life, even that small, small money that is going somewhere might be used uh, to help us. So we are very happy uh, about hearing the news that there's going to be a legalization of this uh, motorbike because it's a, it's a very good thing uh, to ask the youth because most of us don't have any work to do. Some of us we depend on this bike to look after our families, pay school fees for our children, our mothers when they're sick, everything we use. Through this means we get a little money to help them. So uh, we are saying that we are going to vote for JM for this good idea that he has brought to us. Also legalizing, say I'm going to pay and I'm legalizing Okada. I work with the brain so uko Nigeria so kara wo uko Togo kara wo e na ye be Togo into a legalize e number na o mo obi insurance better insurance uto forma better insurance e be cover o ni na dia nya na wa ye na ye fine on legalize e kra no say e ti so the pharmacy say grandma he said this medication too is not covered under the nhiso oh are they destroying the national health insurance too hmm. no worries grandma in the ndc's people's manifesto mm. john mahama says if he wins he will provide free primary health care mm. for all mm, that's interesting tell me more oh yes under this policy any Ghanaian who visits the district hospital, mm -hmm. clinic, yeah. polyclinic, or the CHIPS compound with malaria, hypertension, diabetes, fibroid, and so on, will be treated for free, whether or not they have an NHIS card. Really? Oh yes, Grandma. All you need to enjoy free healthcare is the possession of any national ID card that shows that you are Ghanaian. But Baba. Will he cancel the national health insurance? No, Grandma. He won't cancel the NHIS. Oh, okay. The free primary health care policy will just complement the NHIS. Is that so? Yes, Grandma. There is a big one. 
In addition, he plans to establish a kidney and cancer disease trust fund to support people with your condition who waste all their life savings on treatment. Oh, wow. May God bless this man. Vote John Mahama and NDC for jobs and prosperity for all. OPK, Senior Research Fellow, Researcher General, the only man with 17 certificates. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, why are you so busy this? Only man with 17 certificates. Daddy, daddy. Daddy, why are you so busy this? I'm going through this manifesto to see what the future holds for me. I have five years to go on retirement. And I think John Mahama and NDC have pensioners at heart. Oh, sir. Daddy, mommy, feel no. Nishira, sit down. John Mahama says if he wins, he's going to amend the National Pensions Act. To allow workers who have contributed over 10 years to use their contributions as collateral to assess mortgage loans. This amendment will also allow contributing workers who lose their jobs suddenly due to natural occurrences such as COVID-19 pandemic to be paid monthly allowances whilst they search for new jobs. Sa sa sa. Research mo king con. What else do you have on your paper? You this girl. Eh? The NDC government will also maintain the captured pension scheme for all security agencies. The best part is the 13th month bonus pensioners will enjoy. Prof, what does the 13th month bonus mean? That simply means pensioners are going to be paid their benefit two times in December. And they bring a pay a day. And daddy, what's in the other manifesto? Wei. She inikutreyim. The incumbent is empty. They have nothing for pensioners. What of those who work in the informal sector like Mami? That is a great question. If John Mahama wins the election, he will introduce organized groups in the informal sector such as the tailors, drivers, hairdressers, fitters, fishermen, cocoa and cashew farmers, and many more. There are better times ahead. John Mahama do all! Vote John Mahama and NBC for jobs and prosperity for all. Hello, Your Excellency. I am Selassie from Medina. I have read the NDC's manifesto and the pledges we've made to the people of Ghana. They look good on paper, but how committed are you to deliver on these promises? How can we be sure that they are not just campaign promises meant only to bring you votes? Are they the real deal? And are you the real deal? <laughs> Thank you. Of course, they are not just the real deal. But I know exactly how to ensure the execution of the promises we're making. It's not political rhetoric. It's not election propaganda. It is the real deal. It is what I want to accomplish. If for nothing at all, God and the Ghanaian people have put me in the highest positions of responsibility, first as Vice President, and then as President for 110. To me, this means I have a mission, and this is how I see it, a mission to work with you, to leave a legacy for Ghana, for us as a people and for God. My mission, my legacy as a politician is to build a solid economic, social and digital infrastructure with 100% access for all. This is the only way Ghana can become a truly developed country. I began that mission during the first four years as president. And I asked my fellow Ghanaians for another four years, which would enable me to deliver the full package to complete my legacy. For me, it's not a game. It's not a vain quest for power. That is why I don't just make promises. All I have said we will accomplish are from the issues you, the people of Ghana, told us are your priorities. It is my personal mission to leave a fundamental legacy for my people. It is the real deal. Good legacies never die. Championing the hopes of the next chapter of our nation's development is a man 
who needs no introduction, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, affable, decisive, and compassionate. These are key attributes amongst his numerous qualities which makes him stand out as a beacon of hope for Ghana come 7 December elections. Unlike his political opponents who are still at the sword cutting stage of their government, Four years of the Muhammad-led administration completed several projects in the areas of infrastructure, energy, health, agriculture, education, amongst others. These resulted in a massive boost in the country's economy. During his tenure, he steered the country through a difficult power crisis by deploying several emergency plants which added 800 megawatts of power and also sped up the completion of ongoing plants. This clearly rescued the nation out of the power crisis. Even though the ruling party continually claimed to be the ones who ended the crisis, the facts remain. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama solved the situation before handing over power. I almost felt from my chair when I heard the minister say that they've solved doom so. Solved doom so. Mr. Speaker, I was looking for one energy negotiated project that this government in one year has been able to do. Mr. Speaker, at least give John Tramani Mahama and the NDC some credit. The legacy of John Mahama still goes to 2018. When is Government in this budget was talking about power projections for 2018. They mentioned early power and same power. Do you know how those plans were negotiated and started? At least give the NDC some credit and respect. Several villages got connected to the national grid under his rural electrification program. Water, they say, is life. The Muhammad-led administration increased investment for the provision of quality and clean drinking water. Several boreholes were constructed across rural communities and urban treatment projects were introduced to help with the supply of clean drinking water in cities and towns. The Teshi desalination plant, home water expansion, and the ATMA projects are examples. And possibly, any surprise here. Say, looking for the case in the area, I can't even know. 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 I can't even more than 76% of people living in both rural and urban communities had access to clean drinking water. The road sector saw a phenomenal investment under his tenure. The Nkrumah Interchange. Kaswa overhead.
Airport Hills Burma Camp Network of Roads and the 37 Elwa Trade Fair Road are examples of his impressive work in the road sector. Projects like the Tamamoto Way Roundabout, New Bridge from the Flowerpot Roundabout, and several others commenced during his term. Cuts soared for the commencement of the $1.5 billion Tamar Port expansion. an ailing economy which was running a high deficit with an increasing rate in inflation and interest rates coupled with a rapidly depreciating currency as a bold decisive leader he steered the economy back into a stable state in Ghana we started with a strong socialist model where the state you know was responsible for almost everything Government's responsibility, one, is to accelerate the economy. By natural acceleration of the economy, natural jobs will be created in the private sector. Government must create an enabling environment that makes it conducive for business, and in that environment, jobs will be created. The genesis of this factory was from an official visit I paid to the Czech Republic. And um, the Czech, during the discussions with the Czechs, there was the proposal to help us revamp the Kumasi shoe factory. And from then, I asked the military to work with their counterparts to ensure that this factory was revamped. Work started, and in 2012, I was asked to come and commission it, but we were so busy with the campaign that we were not able to do so. We are now able to produce our own boots for our security services. The armed forces of Ghana are having all their boots manufactured here. We started to promote technical and vocational education and training so that more young people are going into technical, vocational education and training and improving their prospects for uh, getting jobs. Apart from that, I launched a program called the Youth Enterprise Support Initiative. And what we did was we advertised online across the country and said any young person who had a proposal, a business proposal or idea should apply. We received in excess of 7,000 applications, and they took them through a process, training, looking at their proposals, helped them to develop those proposals into feasibility studies. And when they had developed the feasibility studies, we had a seed capital of 10 million Ghana CDs, which was disbursed to these young entrepreneurs. The YES monitoring evaluation team has been good, because you see that their interest is in the success of the business. They are just interested that you succeed in the business. And we keep on having interactions and cooperation, trying to ensure that the business, the right thing is done in the business, and I succeed in the business. With the banner, the youth enterprise support, ABBA, our boy, Yenumjon Ghanaians, are your creative mind on found BBFE, on found political AED. I'm into aquaculture. I have. I'm farming fish I asked for 50,000 kino, the input, the scoop net, the platform. I can make extra 50,000 in a Yes. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama has a good track record in the health sector. His tenure saw the training of a large number of health professionals to meet increasing new regional hospitals were constructed in Bogotanga. A 160 bed hour, a new block at the Ridge Hospital, which is the Greater Accra Regional Hospital. The new Yeji Midway Free Training School was built to train nurses. A maternity block 
for Don Kokrum Presbyterian Hospital in the Afram Plain South. For Mena District Hospital, a 120-bed Shai Osudoku District Hospital at Dodua. The Bank of Ghana Hospital at Cantonment in Accra and a 130-bed Maritime Hospital in Tema. Many district capitals got hospitals as well. New chips compounds and polyclinics were added. These led to a massive usage of the National Health Insurance Scheme. In 2015, the outpatient utilization of the NHIS was 29 million as compared to 9 million in 2008. The poor, needy, and vulnerable were of major concern to His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. The wide income disparity between the rich and the poor led him to strengthen social protection programs. This led to a phenomenal increase in the number of people benefiting from the school feeding program, as well as the Livelihood Empowerment Against Poverty program. SADA and also a 50% increase in the District Assembly's Common Fund meant for people living with disability. Education is the bedrock of every nation. Mahama and the NDC have always made that their major priority. Many senior high schools, many senior high schools were built around the country to provide sound and quality education for students. Amongst these are the new lecture halls for the Faculty of Pharmacy at the KNUSD in Kumase. New lecture hall for the Faculty of Agriculture also at KNUSD. New lecture block for the Hospitality Department in Sunyai. Technical universities, 251 room hostels for University of Mines and Technology at Takwa. 8,100 basic school teachers were given training in the use of ICT. The Technical University Act 2016 at 1992, University of Environment and Sustainable Development. Chartered Institute of Taxation Act 2016, National Accreditation and Qualification Bills 2015. Other bills were passed to respond to the challenging dynamics in professional education. 500 vehicles were procured and distributed to universities, senior high schools, colleges of education and polytechnics. 345 classrooms were rehabilitated. Under agriculture, several cocoa roads were completed. Farmers benefited from free subsidized fertilizers and agrochemicals. Fishermen benefited from subsidized premix fuel. Amidst the gloom, there is hope. 7 December presents us another opportunity to get Ghana working again by voting John Dramani Mahama back into office as president to rescue the people of Ghana. His government will steer Ghana back to glory. His track record is there to show. He has every Ghanaian at heart. There will be more jobs created. Businessmen and women will freely run their businesses without fear of government interference and witch hunting. Ghana shall prosper again. Vote for John Mahama. Vote for the NDC. Vote for Ghana.